Let's start by comparing the DNA sections of a gene in a prokaryote and a an eukaryote. And you will see that there are some common things. So here in blue we have what we call the coding region in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. One, one big difference is that in prokaryotes you can have multiple genes in one coding region and in eukaryotes you only have one gene in, in a coding region. Another difference that we're going to see afterwards is that not all of the DNA in this coding region in eukaryotes will be ultimately translated into proteins. While every part of this coding region in prokaryotes will be translated into protein. Common, common things to see is that both have a promoter region, although the location of this promoter region will be different between prokaryotes, where it's usually very close to the coding region, compared to eukaryotes, where it can actually be in multiple places, sometimes very far away of the coding region, and in some cases even embedded inside the coding region. So in eukaryotes, there is a lot of variation for where this promoter is located. Also, some common terms, we usually say downstream when we're referring to things uh, that go in the direction of RNA polymerase moving, which will be moving in this direction from the promoter towards the coding region, towards the end of the coding region. And we call upstream anything that is then above the coding region, so moving away from the coding region, away from the promoter. That will be upstream. And that's the same for both. And the other areas like this light purple which are regulatory regions and these are regions where proteins will bind to the DNA. So keep in mind this are sections in the DNA, these are special sequences in the DNA. For example, a promoter region is a special sequence that is recognized by RNA polymerase and it binds to it to start transcription. Enhancer regions are regions where activated proteins can bind to and increase the chances of transcription. And then there are other regulatory regions where inhibitors can bind to and prevent transcription. So we're going to see this in more detail in the next chapter. So check what is the promoter region, who binds to it, what are enhancer regions, who binds to them, why do we need them, and what are these coding regions. So the purpose of transcription is to use this DNA as a template to make RNA. And here we have the RNA that we resolve from the eukaryote, from this template is here and the RNA resulted from this DNA prokaryotic template is here. So one big difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes is that prokaryotes have multiple genes under the same promoter so that when one gene is transcribed all the genes in that what we call operon will be transcribed at the same time. So the RNA of prokaryotes contains genes for multiple proteins or contains multiple genes each one for a different protein. On the other hand, the genes for eukaryotes only have information for one protein at a time. But what's interesting is that that mRNA, once it is transcribed, it contains pieces that will be removed. So not all the sequence will be translated into proteins. Some of those, what we call introns, will be removed and only the exons will be used for um, temp uh, for translation into protein. Let's look at the first step in transcription in prokaryotes is initiation. Well, this is true for both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So let's look at the specifics of prokaryotic initiation. One big difference in prokaryotes is that their RNA polymerase, which is the one that reads the DNA and makes an RNA copy, an RNA transcript, has this sigma subunit. And this sigma subunit allows it to bind to the promoter region directly. So the sigma subunit recognizes the promoter in prokaryotes and is able to initiate transcription. So the first step in transcription is the RNA polymerase binding to the promoter region in prokaryotes that is mediated by this sigma subunit. And once the RNA polymerase binds to the promoter, then it can start transcribing. So here, RNA polymerase using the sigma subunit has found the promoter region, and it has activator proteins that make that more likely, and there are no repressors present so that RNA polymerase is free to transcribe the coding region. And here, RNA polymerase has transcribed the coding region. Notice that here, 
in prokaryotes, and this is an operon that has multiple genes for different proteins, and all of those genes are transcribed at the same time. Since prokaryotes don't have a nucleus, transcription and translation both occur in the cytoplasm, so there is nothing separating the process of transcription from the process of translation. So actually, as RNA polymerase is transcribing the coded region, ribosomes can find that transcript and start translating it right away, even while RNA polymerase is still transcribing. So as RNA polymerase continues transcription, the ribosome is already starting to translate the genes on that transcript and starting to make the proteins that those genes are coding for. And multiple ribosomes can bind a single RNA transcript. So here we have uh, the DNA, and the DNA is being transcribed by RNA polymerase, and this is the RNA transcript, and multiple ribosomes are binding to that transcript and simultaneously translating that transcript into protein. So those, that's what this uh, photograph shows here. So this is the DNA, and those little circles there are the individual ribosomes that have joined a single RNA transcript and then translated it at the same time. So multiple proteins are being made as the transcript is still being made, is still being formed, transcribed by RNA polymerase. So this is one big difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, and it's that in prokaryotes, since there is no nucleus, everything happens in the cytoplasm, transcription and translation are going on sim almost simultaneously. So here we have transcription by RNA polymerase, while the ribosome is already starting to translate those that transcript and starting to make the proteins everything happening at the same in the same place.